we're going to talk about some Chromebook hacks, hotkeys, or uh, shortcut command keys, as well as screenshots. So you can take a screenshot of either the whole screen or part of the screen. So we're going to start with copy and paste. So if I'm just going to highlight this and I want to copy it. So I'm going to press Control and C on my keyboard of my Chromebook. And now I want to view it or paste it. So I'm going to press Control V is going to view it or paste it. So again, it's Control C to copy and Control V to view it. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to undo or redo something I just did. If I press Control Z, you're going to see that it's going to undo it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to show you. So if I press Alt and I press any of the numbers between 1 and 8, you're going to see that it's going to start opening some other windows. And what it's actually opening is the over here on this bar, it's opening these, any of these things. So they're um, numbered 1 through 8. I'm just going to close them really quick. Okay, so again, that's Alt and anywhere from the numbers 1 through 8. Now let's talk about how we can turn our caps lock key on. There's not actually a caps lock key on the Chromebook. So what we're going to do is instead, normally you would have to hold down shift and press the letters to make them capital. But what we can do is we can hold down alt and press the search button, which is the magnifying glass. So you're going to see that it says my caps lock key is on. So if I start typing, my things pop up in capital letters. Now I want to turn it back off. So again, I'm going to press alt and my magnifying glass, which is the search button. And if I type, everything should go back to lowercase letters. The next thing is we're going to talk about is, let's say you wanted to make your screen larger, you wanted to make it smaller. So if I hold down Control and Shift and I press my plus sign, you're going to see that it's making my screen bigger. Now, if I wanted to make it smaller, I can press Control Shift and I'm going to press the minus sign and it's making it smaller. If I wanted to set it to the default, I'm going to press Control Shift and the parentheses that's above the zero. So it'd be Control Shift and then the, the um, zero key. So again, if I want to make it larger, it's Control Shift and the plus sign. If I want to make it smaller, it's Control Shift and the minus sign. And if I just want to set it back to the default, it's going to be Control Shift and the parentheses that's above the zero. So moving on, we're going to go to Control, and I'm going to press the number one. And you're going to see by pressing Control and one, it's taking me to my first tab. If I press Control and two, it's now going to take me to my second tab. If I had additional tabs open and I press Control and three, it's going to take me to that tab. So again, it's Control and the number one, Control and two, right? It's going to take me to my different tabs. If I want to open a new tab, I'm going to press Control and T. And you're going to see that every time I press Control and T, it opens new tabs. Now, if I wanted to close these tabs rather than opening them, because open is Control T, if I press Control W, it's now going to actually close the tabs that I had. So Control T will add tabs and Control W will take the tabs away. If I press Control L, you're going to see my address bar becomes highlighted. So what it's doing is it's Basically, it's focusing the location bar or the website, web address bar. So I do want to show you over here on the side, do you see this, this bar? So you can actually move it. You can have it on the left. You can have it on the right. You can have it on the bottom. So what I want to do is I'm going to take two fingers and I'm just going to tap in the middle of, let's see. I'm going to tap two fingers <laughs> right in the middle of my mouse, of my little um, touchpad. And so you're gonna see that I can now change my position to left, bottom, or right. So we'll put it on the bottom. And so now it should pop up on the bottom. And I can actually, if I wanted to, again, if I touched the touchpad in the middle of my touchpad with two fingers, I can actually make it so that this um, bar is always there. But I'm actually just gonna hide it again. So again, again, I'm just going to take my touchpad and I want to just kind of hover over the bar and I'm going to tap with two fingers and it's going to give me the, the choice to um, move where it is or to have it always showing. So I wanted to show you how we can do some screenshots. So if I wanted to screenshot the whole page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control and I'm going to press the key that's above the number six. It's a square and it has two lines. 
So you're gonna see that now it's gonna show me over here that it's taken a screenshot and you can see that it's done the whole screen and it's gonna send it automatically to my clipboard. So again, control and the key that's above the six. And now if I wanted to just do an area, I'm gonna press control shift and the key above the six. And then that lets me highlight my area. And you're gonna see that it's gonna show me here also what the screenshot is that it took. So notice it's not the entire screen, it's just what I highlighted. And again, it's gonna send it right to my clipboard. So let's do it again. It's control shift and the number above the six. And now I just highlight what I want. And you're gonna see that it's gonna send it right here to my clipboard. Okay, a, last, a few last things is if you wanted to lock out your screen, you just wanna lock your screen, you're gonna press the search button, which is the magnifier, and the letter L, and that will just lock the screen and you'll be asked to put your password back in. If I wanted to completely log out of it, I'm going to press Control Shift and the letter Q. Again, Control Shift and Q will log the whole thing out of my, my Chromebook completely out, and then I'm gonna have to put my username and password back in. If I just wanna lock my screen, I have to do the magnifying glass, which is the search, and the letter L. One last thing I wanted to go over with you is sometimes your screen rotates, right? Sometimes it's upside down, sometimes it's rotated to the left, sometimes it's rotated to the right. When that happens, what you wanna do is we obviously wanna rotate it back so that it looks like this. So what you were gonna do is um, we're gonna press Control, Shift, and then there's a button above the four, it kinda looks like a backwards arrow. So we wanna do control shift and the backwards arrow, and that's gonna rotate our screen for us. Again, these were just some Chromebook hacks, uh, hotkeys or shortcut commands, and also how to make a screenshot.